Well, how many times have I started an episode by saying, I don't know how today is going to go? Well, today is another one of those days. And uh, as you can see, it's mid-morning already. And the uh, snow we got, well, we, we didn't have a lot of snow, but what we had was a really strong wind last night. And it blew the snow around and left it in places where we don't want it. Uh, and one of the places was right in front of my neighbor's uh, front door. When I uh, woke up this morning and checked the surveillance camera, I could see that uh, the bottom part of his door was completely closed over. Uh, yeah, so I went over and uh, shoveled that out for him. I, in fact, I did more shoveling at the neighbor's door than I did at my place by quite a bit. Now, I haven't started up the snowblower yet. I don't know if I'm going to try it today. If I do, I'll show you. But in the meantime, let's have our roll back and uh, show you what I did here last night. Okay. I uh, was going to mount this piece on the top of our turret here. I was thinking if we deal with this ladder now and get it mounted on the side of the turret here, I believe it goes right there, uh, then then we're done with, the, with this fret completely. All the parts are used up. So I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, makes sense to me. Can't pick it up. There we go. Okay. So where does it go? Does, it, does this arrow indicate that it's going on the side right here? Or is it going on the corner? Or the arrow stops before it gets to, you know, it, it almost looks like it's supposed to go right on the corner there. I think I'm going to uh, take out a moment or two and uh, check Stefan Trambinsky's uh, CGI drawing and uh, see if we can spot it. Uh, yeah. Well, very clearly, it goes pretty much right in the middle of this, what you might call, section or panel or angle. Right in the middle, right there. That's a no-brainer now. Okay, we're going to let gravity be our friend again. And... Uh, I didn't put a level on it, but this surface right here is, is pretty level. Now I'm going to be using uh, the CA Thin again here. And uh, just let it wick its way in underneath the It's not coming. You know what? I should have the macro lens on. Just give me a moment here. 
Okay, let's try not to bump anything here. Sometimes it is so hard to get it to come off of the applicator. See, I'm trying to get it on the inside. Why is that not coming off? Maybe... Okay, I think I got a little bit more. There. We got it that time. Now is that ladder basically straight? Might be a little bit too high. And yet, no, I don't think so. Put some down here. Can't get it to come off. There, we got it. We got it. Okay, now the top is done. That one is, is really overdone. It's to the middle here. Let's see if I can remove some of that now. No, I can't. Do I really need to do any more? I don't know if I need to go in between. Okay, let's, let's just leave that now. Now, I don't know if you've been able to hear it or not, but for the last uh, hour, it's been extremely blustery outside. So, uh, I don't know what we're going to wake up to in the morning. And speaking of the morning, we'll see you in the morning. Now, when I was editing out the rollback, which I actually did last night already, I couldn't help but notice that when I applied the CA here, uh, at the beginning of my dousing this poor little ladder, uh, it I put some here and it wicked its way very quickly all the way along the bottom underneath between the between the rail and the side of the turret. Now, if, if you're watching that in, in high definition, you would have probably seen that. Now, I could have stopped right then, but no, I kept on going, and I filled up all the little cavities here, thinking more is better, right? Well, when, once it's all painted over, it, it probably won't show up that much, won't be that much difference. <clears throat> but when I fill, fill these little cavities up with the CA glue, well, then, then we are losing definition here, if you look at it real, real close. Okay, now enough about the fact that I put on way more CA than I need to. I mean, we've talked about that probably, I'm guessing, 20, 30, maybe 50 times since the beginning of the Bismarck build already. Okay. Now let's talk about the comments that I got. One, one of the comments was from uh, our friend Tennessee Jim. And he was saying, could you use CA glue in the syringe? And I think I replied back something I thought it would probably plug up right away. And if I didn't, if I didn't say that in my reply, I was thinking it. <clears throat> but I did say to him, we, ha we have 19 more of these. Like there's a little package of 20 of these things. So we got 19 more of these, and I thought, why not try it? Now, Jim also reminded me that I do have these, okay? But I was thinking, well, well, these are won't, won't work, you know, on the, on the syringe because they, they'll be loose on the needle. But I was thinking afterwards, you know what? Yeah, the needle's way too small, but what about the next part up? And, and I was thinking that, you know, we, we've got one here. So let me find my scissors. 
Well, maybe I don't need them. Okay. So now let's be careful not to poke myself here because I have not dulled this one. Okay. What if we were to take the needle out? Would it be possible to don't poke yourself. I don't know. I'll, I'll put the macro lens on it. it uh, it's possible that this can be shoved up to the place where it's going to seal. Um, maybe if I heated this this plastic up, or, well, I don't think it's plastic. I think it's a type of nylon. At least that's what it feels like. I don't know if I can heat it up and have it s slide over, but I'd kind of like to try that today. Um, not that I'm not going to, you know, we we will see if this part is going to fit on here. But uh, I, I like fooling around like that. I like experimenting around and uh, uh, I, I take you with me and uh, sometimes I take you where you don't want to go. Oh, wait a minute. I think this, remember this, this comes off, doesn't it? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, let's get the macro lens on. I think it's going to fit really good. All right. Now, my, my, my thinking was that I didn't want to use the needle because the needle was going to plug up, right? And uh, I suppose, and I was thinking, well, I guess I could always use the lighter and heat the end of the needle and, and get a few more uses out of it. Whereas, whereas this, you just, you just sort of snip it off. And granted, it gets eventually shorter and shorter. But we originally had a hundred of these. I've probably got at least 90 left. Uh, okay, let's get the macro lens on and check this out. Okay, there's a little piece of white something, I don't know what it is, on our green cloth right there. And uh, yes, I have the macro lens on, but it's not. we're not moved in quite as close as I can get. But I've concluded that if I hold the... Uh, what I'm doing about an inch above it. Now I haven't tried this, so uh, let's just try this. See if we can't get it on here. Oh, I was pushing pretty hard there. Um, Maybe I will use my heat gun and heat it up. So I don't know if I can do that on camera or not. I'm just going to push pause here. Okay. I quickly removed the, uh, this from the heat gun and, uh, yeah, Jim, your idea might work pretty good here. <clears throat> okay. Now, if you remember, we used this uh, jar to put this in because this thing was developing a bulge on the bottom. And uh, I think the bulge is getting bigger, but I'm not sure. So we don't want to be having any accidents here. All right, so the question is, is the uh, CA glue going to freeze up our plunger? Now, how deep do I have to go here to get to that? Probably about halfway down. I uh, better get myself a little... Uh,
Now, if something is curing, I can smell it, but it could well be what I put on the, on the cloth there. Okay, I'm going to put this back in the fridge. Now, I know I didn't show it being done here, but that air bubble that was in the in there, what I did was I, I worked it out, um, and uh, squirted it into that paper piece of paper towel that we had here, and uh, then I immediately took it outside, and I threw it in the garbage outside, because I didn't want those fumes that were going to soon start coming off of it when the uh, I, I don't know how how much of a milliliter it. The, the plunger is where it's at now. Now there was there was quite a bit of air in there. I, as far as I can see, right now there is no air in there. Um, but is is there going to be a reaction between between this plastic and the rubber on this plunger? I don't know. Um, it did go very very smoothly. It was very encouraged. It had a very encouraging feel to it. Um, I haven't I haven't tried to uh, very minutely get a tiny little bit out. It is if it works, it'll sure be a lot better than those those little squeeze bottles because <clears throat> I find with them that uh, it, you know it's really hard to use. The, like these things are great, you know these little tubes are great, but the the bottles are kind of hard to squeeze. And uh, it's hard to to get just a very very small amount. Uh, well, it kind of works. So so Jim, if they, if this works, you know that'll that'll be really good. Um, I suppose we could we could try. I'll put the macro lens back on and just see how how easily we can uh, micro adjust a small amount here. Uh, yeah, let's let's just do that. Now I was just thinking here. Wh why don't we do this for real? Okay, so uh, once again, this is going to be the first time I've tried this. So the, this goes to the back, and we got to get this. This should fit on. I'm trying to do it on camera here. Uh, that's not right. Okay. It looks as though it has to go on the inside of this flange. See, there's a, there's a flange right there. Okay, so that one goes there. So that should mean that the one on the other side maybe has to be just sprung in, just, just about a fraction of a millimeter, just a fraction of a millimeter. Now, I don't want to push too hard because I'll probably end up uh, having to re-glue something. But if it just could get it to snap down into place there. It's almost there. That's, does that look like it's seated? Oh, I bent the ladder. Run! Well... At least it's not too bad. Okay, yeah, it, you know what? It it is down, sort of. I I think I'm probably best trying to do this off camera. Yeah, and I can hold it up to my face and I can see what I'm doing better. See, when I get it down, when that one's right, then this one is is not right. Okay, I'm just going to have to, uh, isn't that too bad about that ladder? It's got a bit of a kink to it. Now, you know what? That almost looks normal. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we'll tell everybody. It's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I already know that this thing is going to work because, uh, well, first of all, about 10 minutes has passed here. But when I was straightening out uh, one of these brackets, I think it was this one right here, I weakened it. So I thought, well, let's let's just try it and uh, see if it'll work. And it, it worked beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Uh, and then I used the curing agent 
and now we've got it sitting in place here. It's not glued on, it's loose. I, like I can easily pull it off, but I don't want it because I've got it, I've got it on just, just right here. So let's uh, put the macro lens on now and uh, try and micro meter just a little bit along the, you know, along where it has to go there. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna work really good. Yeah, thanks Jim. Now I did use the snow blower today. And if I hadn't of, I would not have been able to get to the bird feeder, at least not easily. I actually went out there in my slippers. Um, but I'm going to have to show you the snowblower tomorrow. I've just sort of run out of time here. Uh, like I say, life is what happens to you while you're making other plans, and it sort of got in the way of the model table today. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I get a coffee visitor, and he's going to be coming really soon here, so I want to cut this off. And uh, I'll have to show you the snowblower in tomorrow's rollback. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. It's going to be another disjointed video, I guess. And also how the CA glue is going to work on this little part here. Um, yeah, that's going to have to be in tomorrow's rollback as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.